is the coyote vocals or the coyote lone howls. Probably the most used coyote vocal there is. I mean, it's it's really good to learn. If you're going to learn a coyote vocal, the first one to start out with, I'd say, is, is your lone howls. They're used in locating. They're used for calling coyotes in on stand. Just a, a really great call to use. Uh, Jason Gross Close, world champion predator caller, coyote howling in particular. Don't get no better than this. Let you explain, let him explain to you how he does that. And then I'll give you my version on the three read. He's going to do his on the two read pup. I'll do mine on the three read adult howler and let you hear the difference. And we'll probably mix some barks in just to add the realism to see how you can kind of start combining different coyote vocals to put it together and be more realistic with your hunts. All right, Tor, this has been my lone howl. I like this two reed call, and I usually do most of my howls with it. Like I said, it's just my personal preference. I got used to this two reed howler. Uh, I can make this do lone howls. I can make it do barks. That's the main thing I do when I'm actually hunting. So I'm going to stick with the two reed on this call, do the lone howl. to beat that that sound sounds real good it's uh almost intimidating standing here beside the world champion and uh compare calls <laughs> but everybody can't be the world champion but you can be successful and pile up a lot of fur and we do every year using these sounds that we're showing you right now so i'm going to give you my version of the same sound the lone howl i'll mix it in with some barks and again i'm going to do it on the tc3 read a dull tower
right there the door. Too long. Uh -uh. Man, that sucker come out of there fast, didn't it? I wouldn't even. I was trying to watch right here beside us because we had to get so close to this edge. He come out of there so fast. He was stopped before I even made a move on him. Yeah, I seen that. I caught. I caught him right there before he got stopped. I sat there and held it. That's right where they were howled at this morning when we located. Huh? That's that edge right there is where they howled at this morning. I was just worried they was going to back door us since we got in here so close to that edge, not ever having been in here before. I was worried we was going to be a little too deep, but it worked out perfect. Yeah, he I got a good looking dog. Yeah, I got zoomed in on him just before. Go grab him. And, uh, we'll take a better look at him. Big goat, big Arkansas goat for sure. All right, I bet you. That's one of the heaviest ones I've picked up in a while. Yeah, he's a good looking goat, that's for sure. That sucker's healthy. That couldn't have worked out no better. <coughs> well, it didn't take long either. Uh-uh. Female. Man, that's a big female. She must be looking down with good hair for this time of year too. Here's the deal this morning. Uh, we got up about an hour before daylight, made us a few rounds, and located, a, located these coyotes in this pine thicket this morning. Really terrible spot to try to hunt because it's so thick. We didn't have anything for options. And uh, other than this old logging road. So that's what we tried. It worked out. We knew these coyotes were right here. It's a, growed up clear cut right here on the edge of this plantation. We knew they were right there back on this edge. We'd never been in here before and I thought we might be too deep, but it worked out perfect. Coyote come up the edge. Uh, we gave him a couple howls on the MFK pup howler, pulled him right out. We probably wasn't here four, five, six minutes uh, before he popped out in the road. Good looking coyote and uh, talk about thickets. This is Arkansas thicket we hunting in right here. You, 
can see in this road and nowhere else. But, uh, we still got time to make one or two more stands. Kerry Wayne's been stacking them up with the 22 250, so we let him keep shooting. I'll do a little calling, see if we can get another one. MFK. All day. About a thicket. That's what we're calling these coats up in stuff. Looks like that. It's like a wall. Can't see in it. Can't walk in it. You got to get them close. And if you need to get them close, MFK game calls. They do what they're supposed to. Get them in close, and they made for killing. 